Many of you remember these images again for Sunday in, from Sunday in Johnson County. That's where emergency management there knows that it's not won't take much rain now to continue causing problems to cause more flooding. So folks there just one of the counties taking extra precautions given the forecast in the coming days. Fox 4's Brandon Todd is in Cleaver tonight with more Brandon. Yeah, I'll tell you, Heather, we're right here where the Nolan River spills out into Lake Pat Cleburne and right back behind me down here where kind of where I'm splashing in the water right here is a boat ramp, except it has no ramp right here where the water starts is actually supposed to be about 30 feet out there. So that's how much this water has come up and it is currently raining here right now. The folks in Johnson County and Hood County know that the rain, uh, the much needed rain is right around the corner. We're very tired of it. <laughs> Call it storm fatigue. I'm ready for it to stop. Scooter Thomas is one who likes the rain, but not this much. God knows what he's doing. You know, it's just simple as that. Uh, now, somebody's frame of rain still needs to stop. He got his first look at this sinkhole in Granbury and, like many, hopes the recent stormy forecasts don't wash it out even more. It's a big hole in the ground. City leaders approved a new lift station at the sinkhole site and say the hole is reinforced enough that even heavy rains shouldn't be an issue. Johnson County has had more than its fair share of severe weather. The Rio Vista tornadoes in late April and the flash flooding earlier this week. The county has made a lot of progress after the April storms repairing storm damaged roads, but that was wiped out by Sunday's flooding. Emergency management brought in help in case there's more trouble. Several big trucks from the Army National Guard. The county knows Alvarado, Lillian, and Venus are among the communities at risk for more flash floods. It's having the Guard members drive those areas so they'll be familiar with the roads and neighborhoods in case they flood. Oh, I feel for the weatherman. They haven't said rain in a long time, and they're using up rain now, and they probably won't say it again for a while. Yeah, with uh, all that rain that is in the forecast over the next several days, those National Guard trucks are expected to be here in Johnson County at least through Monday. Heather? A lot of work to do. All right, Brandon Todd live tonight. Thank you.